Hi, I'm Anita and this is UNE Discovery Voyager Online. Now, when I was at school, one of my favourite treats was a sherbet fountain. It was this, a little tube, a yellow tube with this yummy sherbet inside and a licorice stick with a hole in the middle and you could suck the sherbet up through the licorice. It was really yum. I wonder if you like sherbet too. Now, we know what makes sherbet sweet. It's sugar, right? But what makes it tangy and fizzy, that sensation on your tongue? Well, today we're going to make some sherbet and we're going to discover the chemistry that creates the fizzy sensation. So what do we need? We need a cup or some kind of vessel to make it in, a teaspoon, a tablespoon. This um, soup spoon is standing in for a tablespoon today. Uh, we need some jelly crystals, any flavour you like. This is raspberry. We need some citric acid, which you'll find at, just in the cooking section in a, a, um, a grocery store. And you, we need some bicarb soda. So you might like to pause your video for, to grab these items or go shopping for them so that you can play along at home. All right, so the first thing we'll put in is some, some of the jelly crystals. Put in three tablespoons. This has got quite a lot of sugar in it, so we don't encourage you to have a lot of it. But it's all for the sake of science today. Then we need some citric acid, so just one teaspoon of the citric acid. And we need some bicarb. So just a heap teaspoon of this and mix it all up. Now, if you don't end up liking the flavour of this, you might want to try some different jelly crystals or maybe adding a little bit of icing sugar to make it sweeter. You can play around and experiment with the quantities of each. Okay, but now we're going to try it. Okay, just put a little bit on my hand. Am I ready? You ready too? Let's go. Mm -mm. Well, that's not too bad. Whoa, it's, what's it doing on your tongue? Sort of fizzing and tanging like it is on mine. So what's happening? There's a chemical reaction going on in our mouths. So the fizzing on your tongue is caused when the bicarb and the citric acid, they collide with the, your mouth's saliva to form carbon dioxide. What do you think? I think we might need to look at that in a little bit, bit of detail. I've got a mouth that I'm going to show you and let's see what happens. Right, so here's our mouth model and here's some extra saliva. It's not real saliva, we've just used some vinegar so you can see, you can see the bubbles at home. So let's see what happens. Okay, so here's our mouth, eating some sherbet. Ooh. Oh, I can see it fizzing. Can you see it fizzing there? What's it doing on yours? Okay. Let's add a little bit of vinegar just to see it fizz some more. Oh, yeah. Can you imagine that that's what's happening inside your mouth? You might like to make your own tongue and mouth model. All we've used is a piece of sponge. Just from a sponge that you wipe, we'll do them washing up with. We've cut out a tongue and we've coloured it yellow with some food dye. And this is just a tissue box. But also, if you've got a good friend to do this with at home, you can check out each other's tongues and see what's happening. All right, so there's a link to an experiment card for this experiment above. I hope you have fun fizzing and tanging with some sherbet and seeing the chemical reaction that happens on our tongues. We'll see you next time on Discovery Voyager Online. See you.